Hello everyone and thank you for watching. On today's trip, we are targeting Salmon. Uh, it's May 31st and it's the last day of uh, Salmon season before the break. So me and my friend Eric are targeting Salmon today in Half Moon Bay. Also, I'll be sharing some information to you on how to properly launch out of the Pillar Point in Half Moon Bay. Especially if you're a new boater or unfamiliar with Hapman Bay and the Pillar Point Danger Zone, uh, pretty much you want to be able to make sure you know uh, where to go on your way out of Pillar Point area. So hopefully you find this useful and feel free to pause this video to look at the list that I created. Uh, the most important part is uh, you want to make sure you, you know and you're aware of the location of the dangerous reef when you're going out there uh, into the ocean. Uh, also, there's another one that is uh, you want to uh, make sure you watch out for the soundbar uh, right right next to the marina and also don't forget to uh, refer to your USGC, uh, US Coast Guard um, guidelines and checklists for safety information uh, through their website. Thank you. Also, feel free to skip the video to time frame okay, six off. minutes uh, if you want to see the salmon fishing right away. Take care, guys. Thank you. Were you guys on the deep reef too, or? No. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. See you guys. So here we are launching at uh, Pillar Point boat launch. Uh, as you could see here in the video, uh, I'll be showing you the sandbar or the beach. If you're not paying attention, especially if it's during high tide and you won't be able to see the beach. Uh, as you could see on this uh, picture here, um, red arrow is actual sandbar or beach. So it, this is very shallow. So you, you must pay attention when you're launching your boat. So stay on your uh, starboard side. Uh, from beaching. Uh, as you can see on this video, uh, pointing it right there, uh, it's it's low tide and you can actually see it. Uh, you, you could easily miss that if it's high tide. So be careful on that side. So here we are heading out to the jaw and this is a, a, a nice graphic uh, map from Navionics. Uh, you really need to get familiarize yourself with the buoy numbers uh, there's the number three north uh, and also there's you could see there's a number three number two buoy which is the red buoy um, and also uh, you'll see the one north buoy and the one south buoy uh, as you could see red are the reef so this is the very dangerous part uh, that you want to avoid uh, you could easily hit your boat and, and damage your boat here if you go through this and actually uh, it might be a life and death situation if you actually went through all these reefs here uh, so again uh, i'm just showing you the buoys here uh, and you want to avoid this reef uh, because wave builds up here and also <clears throat> you could easily damage your boat and your boat could roll over and 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 uh, it could be a catastrophic uh, situation uh, so as you could see here this is the marina um, uh, boat launch and i'm drawing out the actual path on how to get out of uh, pillar point area as you could see here um, uh, feel free to pause this video by the way uh, so as you could see here i'm drawing a map right outside the jaw uh, i'm heading out to the beach area parallel to the beach area about 45 degrees from the levee uh, i'm sorry for the uh, uh the jerry uh, again you want to make sure you avoid this area here because uh, uh waves tend to build up there uh, big swell and it could roll over your boat if you're not paying attention so be ready and and be alert on this situation um, Here's another look of the of the path uh, I was mentioning about. Uh, you want to take uh, make sure you take note of the reef location, and you want to avoid this as much as possible. Uh, I would recommend you to aim for number two buoy, which is the red buoy on the uh, port side of your vessel.
here we are in deep free uh, we'll be using a deep sea diver setup today because i don't have any uh, down rigger in our boat but as you could see uh, it's very effective as well and, and we were dropping at 190 feet This is a nice one. It's beautiful. Wow. 
Wow. Look at that one. Wow. That's beautiful. Look at that guy. That's a cool one too. Okay, we're going to yep. Let's go. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, he's fighting. Oh, man. This is like... Oh, this is really fighting. Oh yeah, this is really fighting. This one's really fighting still. Oh man, this thing is fighting still. Oh, oh shoot, this is still running. Oh man, there's a dolphin. There's a dolphin. Hopefully they don't get mine. Okay. 